Welcome to Hello Neighbor, a game you've very likely heard of because it took off on YouTube around 2016. It's a stealth game where you control a kid who moved into a new home and across the street is this old geezer who's clearly hiding something in his basement. Our goal is to get inside. So today, I'm going for the Platinum Trophy. To do this, I'll have a total of 18 trophies to unlock. And I'm going to be honest, even though it only took around 8 hours, this game's just bad. The physics, the jumping, the puzzles, and the stealth are all just an exercise in frustration. It's so annoying to play and just not fun. Not only that, my game crashed, causing a few hours of progress to be completely lost, and half of the time was just spent on this one trophy, just waiting for this bloody tree to slowly, slowly grow. But first things first. Oddly enough, the game has three chapters, and I got no trophies in the first two, meaning everything trophy-wise was in the final chapter. With the first one being called Get Em George for learning to stand up for yourself. Basically, learn my first ability, which is to push the neighbor away when he catches me. We'll need a few abilities to be able to beat the game. For this one though, I had to complete this extremely annoying stealth section with these mannequins chasing me. No word of a lie, I probably failed this thing at least 30 times. It's safe to say I, I hated it. Jesus, that was so freaking annoying. That was ridiculously annoying. Next would be the second ability, a double jump. I entered the closet to get the up up trophy. It wasn't that bad until I had to jump into a toaster. Yeah, a toaster and have it shoot me up to this platform. I just kept hitting my head at the top of it and falling down. After a few more tries though, I finally landed up there and made a leap of faith. You'll never guess what I did next. Yep, another ability. The final one we would need to actually finish the game. For mmm, bacon. I had to push this trolley thing to the checkout with five specific items. None of them being bacon, by the way. All while these annoying mannequins returned, trying to stop me. The hardest part is honestly just getting the stupid items in the trolley. Once I did though, I went to the checkout. Now that I had all the abilities, I made my way to the very top of the neighbor's building, the top of the world. I climbed a few ladders, jumped on some rails, pipes and boxes, and then reached the top. How far can I see? Well, surprisingly far actually. Now this one, shoot em up, was for getting a birthday present. It actually requires a lot of preparation. You need a few pieces of cake and some mannequins that are all scattered around this ridiculously maze-like house. And you bring them all here and place them. And boom, trophy. Sounds easy. Well, not for me. This thing probably annoyed me even more than that horrible stealth section. Every time I was trying to place the things, the freaking neighbor would just come up the stairs and ruin everything, grabbing me and just knocking everything down, making me have to respawn outside the house, run back in, and he just did this about eight times. After raging a little bit... Stop being annoying! Oh my god, go away! I finally got it, and my present, by the way, just... Just this useless nerf gun. Oh my god, finally. That was so annoying. I then went and found myself a basketball because I had to shoot some hoops. The hoop was outside the neighbor's garden, so I got the ball. I threw it up there after a few tries. wasn't too difficult. I finally got it and got the trophy Space Jam, which is a, a good film, by the way. You should watch it. The original one, though. I haven't actually watched the new one. I then took one of those mannequins from the birthday room and placed it in the middle of the road. I guess you could say this is a little bit of revenge. I found a high point and watched as it got sent flying across the map. So now I needed to head into like a glitched error secret area, I guess you would call it. I don't really know what to call it, to be honest, but I went... I crouched under this thing and then into a black hole room thing with some red text. Once I'd walked towards it, it teleported me into a cemetery, which unlocked wrong place to bury. 
Now, thankfully, the next six trophies would all come in quick succession from this weird, like, out of area map. I would basically just have to visit different places. So first, I went back to school. I think we missed prom night. Ran to a factory, but didn't bring any swimsuit. Visited the police station, but don't tell anyone. And don't ask why they're spelled like that. I honestly have no idea. But I did then go to hospital. Is she okay? Not sure who she is, but I'm sure she's fine. Decided to change for gas for my invisible car. And finally, I went shopping for beep. Thankfully, there's no silly mini game this time around. And that's all the trophies in that area. The whole thing only took like five, 10 minutes tops, but that did mean we was only missing three more trophies. And this next one, Don't Buy Snow White, was by far the longest in the entire game. I had to plant a seed and wait for it to grow. The thing is, it takes freaking ages. So I left my PS5 on, I went and did something a little bit more productive than just watching the bloody tree grow. When I came back though, a few hours later, the tree had grown a decent amount. So I paused the game and thought, okay, I should probably save it. Then the game crashed as I went to pause it and save. And I was thinking, please tell me it like auto saved at some point. So I started back up the game, loaded in and guess what? The tree was freaking tiny again. So. I spent like three hours or whatever it was waiting for this damn tree to grow. The game crashed and now I've got to wait all over again. And here's the kicker, to make things even worse, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I also lost all three of my abilities, which meant I needed to go and get them all again because we needed them to finish the game. So I went and got my abilities and then I sat and I waited for this goddamn tree to grow again finally hours later the tree had fully grown and i could get the golden apple yeah that's why we was waiting for a golden apple and guess what you don't actually need it for anything it's just for the trophy the things we do for trophies either way it was finally done and we could get back on track and go and finish this goddamn terrible game so once I'd made my way into the neighbor's basement, we ended up in this dream world thing. Honestly, I don't know what's going on in this game and I didn't really care. So I continued following this guide that I've been watching. I jumped into another toaster. I hit some switches, glided around like Mary Poppins, burned some ropes, hit the giant neighbor with a ball and then failed to land in the house that was attached to his back. Again, don't ask. Second time, I landed it. And here we are champs, the final trophy. We was inside the house and I had to protect this kid. After doing so, I finished the game, earning me my final trophy and the platinum. I am so glad that's over. That was trash. Honestly, don't play this game. I played it, so you don't have to. I've been Mr. Leaning versus Hello Neighbor. Happy trophy hunting, and I'll see you next time when I platinum Hello Neighbor 2.